previously on Danganronpa V3. I can combine Gompa's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. What kind of contrived ass? Are we in space? Is the world just fucked? Everyone despair. <gasps> the D word. I don't want to, stupid head. Oh my god, he's the worst human on the planet. And now... What up, David here, with some more Danganronpa V3. Last episode, we wrapped up Child 4. And now... <laughs> My adorable mono pups. <laughs> Little Monotaro. Little Mono Funny. Little Mono Dumb. And the rest. Oh, Monosuke was my favorite. Good, we do not want to replace them. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. Is it? I told them, make the most of your life, cause you only get one shot at it. I think they did. And once it's over, nothing can replace it. Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? Bad parenting. I don't know, there was a lot of tongue action. It's all their fault! Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. Like I said, bad parenting. But the more I think about it, why did those kids even exist? Again, questions that I asked. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? Oh, don't get philosophical. It's already gotten intense. What makes one's life irreplaceable? The fact that no other life will be the same. Consciousness and experience, and a whole method of processing the world around you. Anyway, the morning after Gonto was defeated, the black <laughs> declared the blackened. He was beyond defeated. <laughs> we gathered in the dining hall as always. Is Kokichi gonna be all chipper? Oh, he's gonna stroll in and be like, hello, everybody! As always. No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Yo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and Kaito's illness as well. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright trying to cheer us all up. I'm gonna guess Kaito or Samugi. Oh, wow, okay. I feel like Kaito's mad at me for some reason, though. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Well, great, you haven't changed. Hey! Are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. Hey, he, he lies like Kokiji. Huh. I'm 100% better now. But... But there's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little. Uh, th that's all. Um, are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me and I can't help your and can't help yourself. Of course we'd be worried. Yeah. My bad. But I'm serious, you don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat. Where is Kokichi? Kaito spoke clear, cheerily, cheerily and then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now I've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. Can we ask Monokuma? But... Someone dying of a chronic illness? 
ruins the chance of another body dropping for the killing game. All right, escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? It made two people inspired to kill everyone. We still don't know the secret of the outside world is either. Yeah. And I was actually surprised. I kind of expected that we wouldn't get another glimpse of the outside world because we didn't even get a flashback light last episode. Only Kokichi and Gonta saw the flashback light and it made them a little looser than they already were. Gonta wouldn't tell us because it'd give us so much despair we'd want to die. What was that? If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? And for whatever reason, Kokichi seems to be much more okay with knowing. Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean, you can't figure that out just by thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But, but we simply cannot think about, you know, can't simply think about, can't simply not think about, what did he even say? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You. You're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? <laughs> That's really funny. That's a really well-written line. Uh... I think you mean optimist. It, th that was really funny. But you know. Either way, there's something to think about. That's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that now. Shuichi. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Uh, I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. And well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Hmm. Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. Yeah. Kaito is mad at Shuichi. Kaito seemed genuine in that he was more willing to die than condemn Gonta for, you know, what was ultimately Kokichi's fault. So I don't know. I really don't. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other, op no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. Yeah. Kokichi definitely realized how good Shuichi was, and instead of trying to do something bad to Shuichi, he's kind of leveraging Shuichi's abilities to cause a rift in the group. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Huh? Ah. The instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently real good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um. You can't just let that person be. be. He's a little too dangerous. Not, no, not just a little, because because he he enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. Yeah, this is so interesting. And after thinking about this more, this is probably what it would have been like if Hifumi got executed. Like if Celeste didn't kill Hifumi and then she threw him under the bus during the trial and Hifumi got executed for killing Taka, I feel like 100%, like, people would have been, like, super on edge around Celeste because that it's a really interesting dynamic that I've always wanted to see, someone orchestrating a murder but not being directly involved in it. And I'm glad they made it happen because now it's, like, going to be such a tasty dynamic. He's not, no He's not normal. There's something obviously wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated, assassinated him already. I believe you. <sighs> Ironic, the rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Yeah, it's true. Hey! Maki roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants to do. She just said she won't, wouldn't do it because it's a killing game. <sighs> I know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. It makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki Roll? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of adorable. And that's weirdly something that Tenko would say. <laughs> Do you want to die? Sorry. Sorry, I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. <laughs> yeah, you ain't you ain't on the Maki Roll roll just yet. Hey! Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. <laughs> He's just sleeping like a baby, I bet. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But... But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Good morning, everyone! <laughs> oh, come on. Here I am! Yeah, Monokuma. Did he just... Did Monokuma just reveal that he is Kokichi? That would make no sense at all, and I would hate that. Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do! Oh man, things are a lot more liberating without those little miscreants involved. Mm. You're being awfully compliant. Of course, I can't refuse you all, not when I'm all alone and outnumbered! Huh? Outnumbered? Well... But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. Yeah, the good old days. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time! Look at Kaito's hand, it looks like he's about to pet Monokuma. Huh. Real key, and this one is the real last key. <laughs> I like that. This one is the last real key, and this okay. So one is for Kibo's lab, and the other one is for the door next to my lab. Well, what's the difference? Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye bye. See you later. Bye, Onara. Angie. Uh-uh. What should we do? So what should we do about the new area? I... I think we should prioritize searching for the new area over searching for Kokichi. As long as we have the keys, he can't do anything else. I mean, he still has the, the, the card. It likely contains a flashback light and we may discover some new facts. Are you... So you're saying humans are low priority. Typical, typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um... I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaito? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point in worrying about him all the time. All right. Our first priority is to solve the mystery of the Academy. Let's investigate! Alright, uh, I'll hold on to that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed the key into my rock. Pump. Mm -hmm. Kaito? Shuichi? What's the matter? You both seem different today. Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. Split up and begin our search. I need to talk to Kaito. I don't think I'm gonna have free time, but I need to talk to Kaito. Um, let's see. Okay, Kaito, Kaito, Kaito. Oh, he's right there. All right, I, I you you better not be a pain. Come on, say something. Kaito still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is going to be awkward. Shuichi, you gotta. Ugh, better to do this sooner than later. Maki, roll. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. No. Uh, that guy's really twisted. If he enjoys people suffering that much. But I'm not doing any better. I take people's lives for a living. Right. Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, come on. Come on! Jesus. Well, tense, tense, tense. Uh, how you doing? You're like. 
No, Kibo's my least favorite person here right now. Jeez, oh, it looks like Kaito's still- Yeah, it's- hey, He used to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort their feelings out in just one night. It's true. Oh, I forgot about this door. This one. Oh no, this one? Interesting. It's unlocked, alright, let's go. The key, it's still here. Can it be used for something else? The fact that this door looks eerily... I originally thought it looked like Monokuma, but now that I'm looking at it again, it looks like Kokichi's scarf. So is this his lab? No, it's not. You can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does it lead? Let's find out. Oh, am I actually going to be able to... Ooh. Oh, cool! Have I ever been able to move up on a vertical plane like this in the overworld? I feel like every time I go to a new floor, it's like a, I approach stairs and then I'm on another, you know, horizontal plane. This is kind of cool. It's a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? Interesting that I felt the need to talk about it. Yeah. You better not be an infinite staircase. Oh no, it's not. Whew, finally reached the top. It feels as if there's something there. Best to be cautious. Well, so far, no one should be here other than me. I mean, I just unlocked it, right? <gasps> Kaito's lab! Got it. Finally, looks like this is my research lab. You're not gonna let me in, aren't you? <sighs> God damn it. Kaito! Yeah, the stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. They made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? I think there's something big about this. If we are truly in space, this is huge. Hey. What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. Hey. I'm tired. Hey, someone, give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here, probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's gotta be full of important stuff. Luminary of the Stars stuff! Hey! Isn't gonna get anyone? Give me a piggyback ride! Oh, hey Miko, why don't you get a... I almost said bend over, but yeah! Bend over and give everybody else a piggyback ride! Give Kaito a piggyback ride! He's t probably dying! Shut up! Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride! Yeah, give Kaito a piggyback ride. <laughs> Maybe he'll like me more. <laughs> Let's go inside then. Oh cool, he's letting me in. Okay, so this is still a room, right? There are no windows here? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. It's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. It's pretty high up, but I guess it's obvious from how tall the staircase is. Hey. Looks like this is the top floor. So my room's at the very top. Then... Yeah, so what? Yeah, there's a reason he's at the top. What does the other window reveal? Looks down on the school building and courtyard. Nothing above. Seems like the top floor. Nothing above, huh? Planetarium device. Large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars onto the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. There's gotta be more. Okay, um... Kaito, cockpit. Okay, let's see what's in this cockpit. This is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. Pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. We're in space! You. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained some with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. Mm -hmm. Reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know... Oh, wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Ah. Nah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? This... Building! Either this building is a, is a ship, or we're like on the ground thing of a. or we're in the operating room of a rocket ship. Like a real ass rocket ship at that moment. Hey, hey come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? Is this a file? 
Gopher Project, yes! The Gopher Project. Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. It's called evacuating your planet. But none of us can remember the details of that. Come on. This file has information about the project, huh? What does it say? Okay. Hold on, I'll read it. Damn it, I probably should have talked to them all before looking at the cockpit. Let's see. The Gopher Project. I just hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of except exceptional talent. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. What's about the rest of it? What does it say? Don't tease us, just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it's blacked out, I can't read any further. Oh, poop! That redacted will get ya! Yeah. What did you say? Damn. Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us! Hey. You think the part about the boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Absolute vodka! Hey. And what are the seeds of future hope mean? Yeah, are you- is it not obvious? They sent up the talented motherfuckers to, like, go up and repopulate. Why an ent entomologist, though? Uh, well, what's this about the new world? Is this... this is like Noah's Ark. Huh? Noah's Ark? Because... Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. So... Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular... Let's see, we had Maki, Angie, Mew, Tenko, Himiko. Are there more girls than guys in this one? Kaede, like, or is it even? It might be even. But to choose that name in particular, hmm. it does seem related. But how is this all related to the Academy, to us? Because if they... I, I, I know an easy way to do this, yeah. <laughs> There's a much easier way to do this. Okay. God damn, look at all these X's. Okay, uh, one, two guys, three guys, four guys, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kibo's probably the only one who can't have a baby, but this seems pretty even. All right. I think we were supposed to repopulate. None of that makes any sense. Well, if we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. All right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, cause we gotta find the flashback light. Wait, no! Oh, come on! A flashback light, our last hope. It's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. There's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save the game. Uh, this is probably gonna go so fast now. Yeah. <laughs> Shuichi, I'm mad at you. I'm gonna get food. Everything's awkward now. Kokichi's a weirdo. Hey, I got food now! Are you guys still being weird? I'm not gonna talk to you, Shuichi! You're a dickbag! Gonta, uh, it was my job. I'm a detective. Doesn't matter! You're a dick! Yeah, right. Let's go. Uh, Kichi's a dick, too! Maki's gonna kill him! Actually, she won't, because Monokuma just wants that to happen. Oh, speak of the devil! Hey, guys! I'm gonna give you two keys! Go have fun! I'm not gonna talk to you! He's being dramatic. He's... you should consider his feelings. Alright, let's open this door. So many stairs! Someone play the Mario song! Oh, this is the sixth floor, because that's floor five. And so, yeah, we should be on the sixth floor of the academy. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, now! Maki? Uh, no, uh, Himiko to start. No, not the planetarium! Okay, talk doing the cockpit hey. triggered everything. How about you give me a piggyback ride on the way down from the stairs? She's still saying that? All right, Kaito, you're gonna say nothing? Oh my god, so awkward. Ha yeah, okay, same thing. Maki. 
They made us climb all those stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. I feel as this was a huge waste of time. Let's not look around for anything. Let's look around for anything useful. Okay, speaking of a huge waste of time, let's load my other file now. Okay, everybody left, and now... So will we. So, this other key, it looks like it goes to Kibo's area. So, let's check a look. I think I want to go... Wait, where's the... Courtyard. There we go. Wait, why can't I go to the courtyard? Come on. Okay, let's go to the first floor by the entrance. Ah! There we go. I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. My word. All right. So it seems there's an event here anyway. The greenery is completely gone. The place feels real mechanical now. Looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? Um, yeah, what happens then? An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? All right, um, I guess, uh, whoops. All right, I have a strong feeling that this key, it looks like Kibo's aesthetic, so there's probably something in here. That's my guess. Hey, what's up? Oh, are you thinking about Mew? Oh, I should read her thing! There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There's a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. Something next to the door seems to resemble a keyhole. Wait, where? Oh! Okay, never mind. It's not Kibo's lab. It's something completely different. Okay, nice. What do you have to say about Mew? Mew, you were nothing but trouble, even at the very end. <laughs> but still, you didn't have to die. You didn't deserve to die like that, Mew. Oh, she's my little problem child. Uh, was. Right. Looks like a door, but I don't think I could open it with my bare hands. But what about my bare hands? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, uh, yes, this. Real last key. Ramble, ramble, ramble. So I wonder if I could have done these mutually exclusive from each other. That sound, what was the giant door unlocking? Or maybe I wouldn't have been able to access this before. It seemed like I was supposed to go to the other one. Cyber courtyard. What is this place? This is. I feel like I'm the set of I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. Hmm. It took every ounce of strength to hold in what I wanted to say. Um. Okay. Was it robophobic? I bet. Okay. Um. Is that a? This looks like a. Is this a rocket? Oh, oh, wow, I didn't see this. <laughs> Kipo, what's up? Hmm. It's different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway, perhaps it's to defend the building that, that it leads to. I mean, we said that about the, the, freaky, the freakish part of the school, where it was like, bum, 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 bum. And then Korakio did a did a naughty. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. A lot of dead ends here, huh? I feel like a certain little nihihi could be hiding in here. Just, just a thought. Speaking of thoughts, I miss Mew a lot. All right. Oh, hello. What is this? The shutter is huge. This is. Seems to be well fortified. Hmm. This is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let us investigate to see if we can get in. Ah! Oh. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't! Before I can finish my warning, Kibo approaches the shutter and. Is he gonna die already? <laughs> what is this? Kibo! Kibo, get away from. Oh my! Tsk, 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 tsk! Don't you go setting off the alarm now! 
Come on, come on, out of the way so I can turn off the alarm! Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful! Huh? Be careful? What was that alarm for? It was so loud! Oh, that's the alarm system. You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Hmm. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. Oh god, good thing I'm recording. Uh, I feel like I can actually do this. Hey! Wait, slow down, B. Please, fi 503, what was the rest? Kibo, don't interrupt! I have powers! <laughs> only three numbers? Come on, robot! I know you can do better than that! An electric barrier and alarm system. That's pretty tight security. God damn it, Kibo! I was recording this! I could have gotten all 59 of those digits! Why? Why are they guarding so closely? What could they be in- What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, this is an important place. My mood is well, it used swing. to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now that's just pointless. Is it Hope's Peak Academy? Huh? Pointless? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's pointless. So I might as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Beep beep. Oh god. All that for this? Right. See, turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now I just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier and you can go inside. Mm. Can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? How annoying. Since your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Kibo, you better have been recording that. Okay, now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. Also, Kibo, doesn't he have an audio recording function? He's a real fucking dumbass. He could have just played back Monokuma saying the numbers again. God damn it. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and electric barrier. Oh, this is gonna be a big deal. Or just use the control panel out here. Or do nothing in the barrier and alarm system will stay up. Okay. Now then. Safe travels! So, if we ever notice that the barrier and alarm system are back on, that means someone could have been inside, or someone could have done something outside. Don't like that. He just led us into this highly secured area. What's his game? Shuichi! Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move forward. Are you gonna kill me? My inner voice is telling me. Hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. So this place used to be important a long time ago, eh? Exit's all hangar. Oh, is that why it's not important anymore? Oh, over there, it's a... Uh... An exit's all. Oh, no. All five of them are here, it's too dangerous, let's run. Don't worry, not even Monokuma can pilot these. Oh. Wait a second. Hmm. They're moving, they're not reacting to us and the lights are off. Are you dense, Shuichi? That's right. Now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. There he is. <laughs> Surprise! This is actually the Exosol hangar! That's all kind of disappointing. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols? Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. Wah, wah, but, wah. huh, it's pointless now. That's... Is it because the monocubs are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore. Huh? What? No one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me! What does that mean? Be quiet! Now, now, don't get worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model! What the hell is a demon model? The deactivated exosols. Is this hangar pointless? You know, the, the monocubs are gone. That's true, nothing is threatening us anymore. Mm, they're still pretty bad. Operation panels. 
things, a washing machine, hydraulic press. Oh my god! I do not like the sound of that. <laughs> this control panel. That's it's most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Yep, seems like it. There's was a reason to turn the barrier, so we shouldn't touch it. Are you saying that because I didn't have the yeah. Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're implying? No. No. Kibo definitely knows it. Or he would if he didn't cut Monokuma off. This hangar is pointless, huh? I bet Mew would have found a purpose for this place. She would have been been excited to dismantle the exosols and study them further. Oh, you bet. By the way, I can assert that with confidence because her actions are documented in my memory bank. 100%. When it came to machines and technology, Mew was very genuine. She had a natural innocence that she kept hidden deep inside. I know. It, it came out every time somebody yelled at her. All five exosols are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the exosols not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? You never know. So, they have all the different colors here, but it seems like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so we got a hydraulic press. Huge powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yep, even the exosols would not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. I have a feeling a certain metal person is going to be crushed by a giant metal slab now. You're right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using that control panel over there. Hmm. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. Come to a halt when the sensor detects a living organism. <laughs> Safety notice. Hydraulic press is an infrared sensor, detects a living being. Automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. But not a robot who thinks he's a boy! Um... What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Oh, the safety function? I don't know. Well then... Let's give it a try. Uh... Try um... what? As they stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the press. <gasps> yes! I was just about to say, hey Kibo, Shuichi, get under there! Please. Damn it, I wish I did! Please what? Oh, you want to know if you're a real boy, don't you? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Um, are you trying to frame Sh uh, Shuichi for murder? Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. Um. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. Rust in peace? He's not going to change his okay, mind about this. let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by his enthusiasm, I pressed the button. And then? Um. <laughs> oh no! That was a close one! Wait! Yes, it was! Why did you do that? Why? Why did you press the force stop button, Shuichi? It's not my fault. But At least we know now. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. <sighs> you ain't a person. <laughs> <For now. laughs> well, to this hydraulic press that is. Uh, yeah. Well, now we know. I feel like he's gonna be depressed now. But that's useful! I was just about to say, hey. Hey, uh, Kibo, get under there. God damn it, I wish I did now. Uh, Alright. Seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a person. Well, to the hydraulic You're press. Right. Yep. <laughs> Are you gonna be all depressed now? <laughs> no, no pun intended. I've always suspected I, that I was perceived as a machine, but it's rather harrowing to have that suspicion confirmed right before my eyes. 100%. I may be just a machine to this press, but I'm sure other tests will confirm my humanity. Sure thing, bucko! Looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? This is... That seems comfortable. Yeah, why don't you go run in there too? <laughs> comfortable, huh? What is this door? The loo! This is a bathroom. Doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. Wow. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be here in a while. Monokuma and the Monocub certainly don't need to use the bathroom. Then why is there a bathroom here in the first place? 
They were under the impression we would never be here. Why make one? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Monokuma is still being operated by someone. Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. Unless it's another AI. I feel like they wouldn't do that again, though. So far, the only person I know who's in space is Monica. Could it be her? Could Monica just appear? I still don't know exactly, like, where this is in the timeline. Is that it? Is that the only thing here? Yeah, I guess so. That's a nice toilet, though. Guess we're done. Oh, really? Washing machine... Oh, paint. I saw painting machine? Huge machine has several moving arms. What's it used for? The machine was probably used to paint the exit all. Right. Does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um, which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. And why bring it up? He's kind of arrogant, isn't he? I think Kibo's a little arrogant. I've investigated everything. Definitely a hanger for exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma, Bub, you're right. This place no longer has any purpose. Killing Kibo's a good purpose. Alright. Or let's say a valid purpose. <laughs> that could prove important later on. So where do I go now? Is there more to explore around here? I think there might be. So I came from here. I hook a left. You're still here. Shuichi! This was an area of nothing. And was there anything past that area? I just want to double check one more time. There's a dead end. And yeah, so this isn't this is pretty much closed off. Okay. So makes you wonder. Wait, where's Samugi? Wait, how do I... How do I get rid of this map? Oh, yeah, there we go. Um... Oh, there you are. We've only got two last keys. We should be more up. Thief's key and a magic key. Why is that? I don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. How many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Class trial ends. We get Monokuma's prizes and we search for a new area. You know, the same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. I sort of thought maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But... Solve the mystery of the Academy. We're gonna have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Of course, I know we need to do that too. Alright! Alright, I'll stop worrying about it. We have to live for Gonta and everyone else. And okay. escape this place. Yeah, that's right. Alright, I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Interesting. Oh, something's here. Fifth floor? Yes! Good. Yeah. Oh, hello. Weird. Hidden Monokumas, I've not been finding many of them, honestly. Okay. So, we're in the church area. Which means Samugi, her thing's over there, and my thing should be over here. And this door. So, oh, does I key open both of these doors? Wait. I gotta save the game. Actually, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna end this episode off here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't smacked the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, fill in the blanks for supporting me on Patreon. And we'll open this door, this extravagant door, in the next episode. For now, this is Dave out, peace out. This is the fifth floor, and so far the only thing we know about floor six is Kaito's little area. So I'm excited. Anyway, later.